you know, I want to talk about the uh, Sebastian Rogers case. I feel like everybody wants to jump to the conclusion and are starting to miss some of the, the bigger picture. Now I see more of the people that are searching are not talking about him. They're talking about other stuff. This is the face everybody needs to be looking at. You know, we don't, it seems like everybody has gotten lost sight of the goal. Everybody's quick to now, it seems like, want to just act like it's the parents. We know it. It's the stepdad. The stepdad's this. The stepdad's that. You know, we don't know yet. We really don't. You know, for all we know, what if, say the, say the stepdad is the bad guy. Okay. Maybe Sebastian was running from that. Maybe he couldn't make it to um, summer break with his dad. Maybe he, maybe it was, it was that. And he ran off, you know, you never know. It's a possibility. All I'm saying is, you know, I'm not, and I don't want to, this come out as I'm defending anybody either. Cause I'm not, you know, these two right here, I don't know these people. You don't know these people. We know what we're told. We know there's some inconsistencies, but I, I don't want to play judge and jury right yet. You know, cause we don't know. And we, and everybody really needs to be, you know, every, it's like the surgeon is all on the assumption he's no longer with us. I feel, you know, I, I'd be looking for him in every street of every city, everywhere. You know, you never know. You never know. But having said that, the, uh, the stepdad and the mom, they don't make it any easier on themselves. They really don't. You know, they're not. Uh, I, I feel everything seems, I, I don't know how to put it. It, it it seems dodgy to me. I don't feel I, I don't I feel like I get rehearsed answers. I feel like everything they're asked, they pretty much give a, a, a answer that's been prepared. It feels like even if it don't necessarily relate to the question, it's just the feeling I get. It's bad vibe. That's all I'm saying. I'm not saying they've done anything. You know, like I said, there are you know more things coming out. Um, you know, that the, heard the noise at 10 o'clock, that's new. Uh, there's a lot of other little inconsistencies. And let's face it, we're running out of options by now. You know, all the searching that's being done and they're not finding him makes you think he didn't wander off. You know, he didn't hide himself. And for nobody to have come up on him yet, and we're at over a month by now, that kind of tells me that something's been done with him. If he's not with us, he's been put somewhere. Um, the intruder theory seems super unlikely. Dogs in the house. Um, you know, the, surely they would have alerted somebody got, got into the house. No sign of uh, forced entry anywhere. You know, and that's kind of where we're at. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out and get some more information. The stepdad's saying, five O's interviewed him. Um, they don't want to. Give him a lie detector test. Everything checks out. He was on the phone for three hours. Who knows? Was he? Or was the phone set there to... Who knows? Who knows? Like I said, though, before I'd speculate anything 100%, because everybody, you know, wants to act like they know, no, they don't. So the moral of the story really is, you know, either way, we should still be looking for him, Sebastian. I just wanted to weigh in. I thought everybody else had. I thought I would take a crack at it. I talked about him on my show the other day for a little while.